Just a quick one. Have you tried Sigil 2 yet? Celebrating Doom's 30th anniversary, our residential Doom overlord Romero has come back with an unofficial episode in celebration of Doom's birthday. And I finally had a chance to play this, and yes, it's good. It's Doom. What more can you want? Now look, I can't sit here and go in depth in terms of level design and enemy placement because I'm no expert. Heck, I'm not even a Doom Pro. I just grew up with a love of the game. Oh boy, his difficulty up there. With some nice Romero-isms added in there, giving tricky placements to Cyber Demons just to really mess you around. But overall, Ultra Vident really lives up to its name. And heck, Hurt Me Plenty got me a few times. Constant doors opening, shotgunners flooding out, and those damn lost souls. But it is just Doom. For better or for worse, Doom. And by this I mean, look, at its core, Doom will always be fantastic. And in this new map pack, you can only go so much with spicing up level designs, you are still faced with a classic base set of demons. And consistently pumping shotgun shells into Kaka demons can only take you so far. And yes, I get it, it's designed with the mindset of classic Doom 1 having been 30 years, but the base set now can only take us so far without anything new, or even a one-off demon or boss specific for Sigil. It's going to be one of those you play once or twice and probably move on to better things. And the music is and always will be great, there's certainly no complaints, but Sigil 2 just feels like Sigil 1.5. Got classic heavy metal sound and level names and great horror aesthetics in there, but it's the same demons and the same shotgun. And look, you can't beat a classic. This will always be in the hearts of Doom fans, and I certainly enjoyed it. But I think certainly moving forward, if Sigil 3 were to happen, we need to start utilising Doom 2's extra enemies and guns. For a classic, nostalgic romp through Doom, Sidril certainly has you covered and I implore you to please have a go. If you like a challenge, then Ultra Violence certainly lives up to its name. I'll stick to Hurt Me Plenty, thanks. But anyways, happy birthday to Doom. And that was just a quick one, so you take care.